Right, let's go for a lap in the North Life in the M6 uh, GT3 BMW. Uh, this is the North Life track, not the full Nurburgring 24 hours track. Obviously, we do uh, the full GP course and then we join here in the North Life. And as I showed you before, the real car, uh, it's impressive, no? The, the, the cockpit view is exactly the same as we have in real. And uh, as I said, the downforce, no? With this car, uh, it's, it's, the most, it's the most powerful, the fastest category that is racing right now in, in the Nürburgring North Lake track. And in some corners where we don't have to even brake, uh, much slower cars they have to break so I, I, I want to mean that the, the, the amount of downforce this car has ex exactly here in Fuchsplatz you catch more than 240 k's per hour and then you almost don't have to break and, and, and uh, sometimes with new tires in real you, you just do it flat uh, in, the, in the M6 GT3 so, so the amount of downforce uh, it's really hard to describe to you guys because it's it's insane. Uh, the grip level uh, also breaking here from 240 k's per hour to 120 k's um, in the north left. It's uh, really impressive. And then we go down here into an hour force, then uh, all flat out, uh, shifting gears, more than uh, 550 horsepower. Here we, we go flat. This, this corner is really tricky, as you can see. I'm on the gravel right now. And yeah, uh, as I said, no, this car, the, the visibility, uh, it's, it's narrow, as you can see on the screen, but uh, compared to other race cars, it's even better, no? It's better and, uh, and you have more visibility, which is a, a very important point in a race car, uh, to have, a, you know, a, a good uh, uh, reference and good points of view um, while battling with other cars and also, you know, uh, reaching the goal in, in the North Lake. So here is where we lost our race last year. We had a, a failure on the car and here that's where my teammate lost the car and crashed into the wall on the left side. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was really unlucky, no? We were running P4 in the, in the race. Uh, we were really strong to, to aiming for a podium finish in the Nürburgring 24 hours. And uh, unfortunately we had to retire so early. But yeah, we proved that the car was uh, really mega, really fast, and, and the team was uh, really strong. Yeah, and here you can see in the uphill, uh, it's really, the, <laughs> it's funny, but uh, in real and in, in Gran Turismo, we are shifting exactly in the same points. So the gear ratio is also the same, uh, the corner speed is the same, and uh, that's what makes really impressive on GD Sport, no? that the, it's not, it's not only the, the track is really, really the same as in real, it's also the car, no? Uh, I drove this car this year in, in Germany, in the 24 hours, and, and now driving and training for it in Gran Turismo, it's, it's exactly the same feeling. Uh, when I got called to, to race in the M6 uh, GT3, uh, obviously the first thing I did it was to jump in, into the into GT Sport and, and to drive for many, many hours in this car, in the track, right? Uh, that's the best training you can do um, and obviously it, it paid off because uh, once I got into the real car, I knew, you know, the performance, I knew what, which, which speed I should take in every corner, which gear I should take in every corner with, with this M6. So, so in the end, uh, Gran Turismo is good fun, but also it's a great training tool for, for us racing drivers. In, especially in the North Lake, which is 25 kilometers track, uh, it really helps you to, you know, to keep focused, to stay focused for the, for the full lap, to understand the, the physics, to understand the the, um, the performance of, of the car you're going to, to test, in my case was the M6 GT3 for first time, and, and that's it. So, so yeah, uh, obviously here in the, I drove before the Nissan GTR, in that corner, jumping into the downhill, uh, you had to lift, but uh, since I tested in GT Sport this M6 GT3, I, you know, I knew that I could do it flat, so in the first lap I was already flat in that corner when 
when uh, driving the GTR there, I was not flat at all because, you know, less downforce, more power, and, and that's what makes uh, really a big difference, no? And when, when you are in a real tr uh, track, in a real race car, you don't have plenty of time to, to you know, to have dabs or to think about, okay, next lap I'm gonna join, next lap I'm gonna try this corner flat. You have to do it flat that lap because maybe you don't have another lap. You run out of fuel, your engineer calls you to come back to the pits or you know, or you have to give more time to your teammates. So in the end, time is really important in motorsport and, and to have this uh, amazing tool at home, uh, it's, it's really, really, you know, really important for us. Now all the race car drivers, they use uh, simulators as a you know as an important tool as their gym uh, and you know it's, it's really important now it's essential it's just uh, another tool that you really need to have at home to to perform better in real